Now I'd like to introduce Darren Wolf, the international libertarian and infamous blogger. <laughs> All right, Darren. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. And thank you all Liberty Lovers for coming out here today. I have hate mail. Oh no, I have hate mail. What am I going to do? Well, back uh, last month in Swarthmore, I gave a presentation for gun rights. There are a couple of you, including Marilyn, who's just up, who uh, saw that presentation. Well, I gave the same presentation again for gun rights in Bryn Mawr just on Wednesday. And I got some hate mail from a gun rights hater. This is what he wrote. I feel as if we had lifted a rock and looked at all the disgusting, creepy, crawly things under it. I had never heard this gun person before. I foolishly expected something much more intelligent and rewarding. It was ridiculous. I am unwilling to even listen to the gun person. His presentation was full of half-truths and falsehoods. It was like giving equal time and polite attention to a defender of slavery, the circumcision of women, and the beating of children. Did he even bother to explain why he lied? I can hardly keep a straight face. This guy actually wrote this stuff. But why is it that the other side has to resort to these lies, this slander, these falsehoods themselves? It's because they have no arguments to make for their gun-grabbing nonsense. As we gather here right now celebrating liberty, the gun rights haters are gathering at Villanova University. Yes, ooh, that's right. But they're mourning the, uh, how, how did they phrase it? They're mourning the victims of gun violence. Well, I say let them mourn because after all, the blood is on their hands. And that's because today we live in a world of the progressive creation. Somewhere halfway between socialism and liberty. It is a volatile mixture. It is a world increasingly ruled by force. Force wielded by a powerfully armed government. But whether it's the force of taxation, the force of regulation, the force of compulsory education, the force of the war on drugs, law enforcement, compulsory Medicaid. The effects are clear to anyone willing to open their eyes and see a society becoming sicker and more aggressive. We have sunk a long way since 1850 when a Frenchman by the name of Frederick Bastiat wrote this. Is there any need to offer proof that this odious perversion of the law is a perpetual source of hatred and discord? That it tends to destroy society itself? If such proof is needed, look at the United States. There is no country in the world where the law is kept more within its proper domain, the protection of every person's liberty and property. As a consequence of this, there appears to be no country in the world where the social order rests on a firmer foundation. Well, they're sure not talking about us like that in France anymore. Progressivism has failed to achieve its lofty ideals. Instead, it has created our present situation of crime and murder, poverty and despair, recession and unemployment. It is this failure that the advocates of gun control want to cover up. Instead of facing reality, they want to blame guns for the problems created by the implementation of their own ideas. It is past time for the progressives to realize that the killing will only end. Society will only heal by moving away from ruling it by force and toward voluntary interaction between society's members. Liberty is the answer. Implementing it means change at the institutional level. Disarming the government and not only arming the people, but organizing them to defend themselves. So let me close on this note. 
I address this more to the uh, other side. Hopefully they'll see the video over on Villanova. I challenge you guys to a debate. Yeah. If you dare debate yeah. this libertarian. Let's hear it. Debate. 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 All right. Thank you. They would never stop. All right. Thank you. Let's give it up for